Happy Saturday. Um, it's time for another beer review. Um, hello, Sylvester. You come to join us. Yeah, we've got Portuguese TV on in the background. We've been, been watching some uh, football today. Big win for Rio Ave. They've just uh, had a 3 1 win, and it looks like we've got a bit of Porto Bravista on now. But to celebrate the Rio Ave win, we thought we would try. Um, a beer we've not tried before. We, we, we reviewed last week the um, Valletta and Port Barrel beer. We're going to try tonight the um, Valletta and 10% uh, Imperial Stout. So I'm interested to see whether this, how it compares to the Golden Rack Imperial Stout, which is a particular favourite of mine. So uh, um, we are going to be using the Castile Chalice. Let's try this Valletta and Well, I've uncanned it and there's kind of no fizz on it, which is interesting. Um, wow, this looks dark. A little bit of foam. This looks a very, very, very dark hail. So, not tried before, let's just test the smell. Wow, definitely a strong chocolate flavour here, absolutely without a doubt. So this is a 10 percenter, um, yeah it's definitely got a stout smell to it, can't smell it so strongly in the glass actually, let's try it out. Tastes strong definitely. Um, got a really full flavour to this and the actual fact as it goes down you can almost feel it's kind of like a little bit of like a bitterness to it um, compared to the golden drack i haven't tried the golden drack and peel stout for a little for a little while that was definitely one of my favorites i'm not i'm not sure this is quite as good as that but i think the golden drack and peel stout is a 12 percent or so maybe a little bit stronger but yeah this is um, it's quite nice though bless have got some good beers i've um, got three or four of to try in the next few weeks so yeah, we'll be having a having a check of those and see what they taste like but yeah bless beers they're, they're not they're not badly priced as well you can um you can't get them in the uk but you can get them imported in so yeah good good choice uh, so yeah the uh, letter and 10 percent um in terms of marks, we, we haven't got the glass, so we can't give it a, a high score for the, because uh, we like the whole drinking experience, but um, I'm going to say, you know, 78 out of 100 for this one. Cheers.